All right, Matt Norlander there. He is uh, in Indianapolis, was right there in the building for the game. Matt, I thought this was a well-played game. Two really good teams. And the team that was the better team ended up winning the game because they were a little better. What's your main point here if you're looking at it from the Baylor perspective? You've got a wonderful one, too, in Jared Butler and Davion Mitchell. Mitchell has turned into Baylor's best player, which was not the case a season ago. Jared Butler was Baylor's best player. And for the first half of the season, Jared Butler was Baylor's best player. Davion Mitchell is now Baylor's best player. He is a first-team All-American level kind of guy. He was great tonight when they needed him to be great. He continued to give Baylor separation when Arkansas made multiple charges there. Uh, a fantastic performance. Arkansas, as you said, Eric, and I would agree, they gave a good fight. They gave a good push. The officiating, obviously, I was in, I mean, I was in the building here. Arkansas fans weren't exactly thrilled at some of the whistles, but the better team won. The team that deserved to win wound up winning the game. And shouts to Terry Teagle, shouts to Bill Henderson, our Eye on College Basketball podcast listeners know exactly what I'm talking about. Baylor to get back to the Final Four for the first time since 1950 is phenomenal. And I just have to take a, a minute to point out where this program was when Scott Drew took it over. It was at the bottom of the bottom of the bottom. Scandal. Uh, some horrendous, horrendous stuff that went on within this program under Dave Bliss. You can look that up if you're not already familiar. And, I mean, Scott Drew had a season where he didn't even play non-conference games. To get this program to the Final Four, no matter if they win the title or not, it, it, it puts an exclamation point on what is the truly one of the most impressive rebuild, reconstruction jobs, however you want to frame it, in the history of college athletics Baylor's moment has finally arrived. They've been a top two team for most of the season. They deserve to be in the final four, and they're going to be there playing Saturday night against Houston. Well said. If you look at degree of difficulty from where he started to where he is now, this is as good a job getting any team to the final four. Uh, now, from the Arkansas perspective, you mentioned the officiating. I I'll go you know, in that vein, but slightly different. J.D. Note falls off 14 minutes to go. Now, I understand he was their most efficient player, and you got to try to stop the bleeding, get back into it. He's five or six from the floor, perfect from behind the arc. But still, foul out with 14 minutes to go. Any problem with him being on the floor and maybe not coming off for a little while and then getting back in there for the last eight minutes? That's a strange time to foul out of the game if you're J.D. Note. Yeah, I'm actually a big proponent of coaches not pulling their players off in the first half when they only have two fouls because that's a common move in college basketball. But four fouls, 14 minutes to go, was a clear gamble by Eric Musselman, and it did not pay off. If Note is able to be on the floor with two fouls, I'm not saying that Arkansas wins the game. It just worsens things. I actually credit Musselman and the Hogs for being able to, again, make a strong push there. But no note was obviously significant. You could feel it in the building when he went out of the game for good. Uh, team put up a nice fight. And this kind of played out similar to how I thought it would overall with the game. You know, weird calls aside and all that stuff. But Musselman's done a wonderful job here. I mean, in the, in the immediacy of a loss like this, I understand how it can be painful if you're an Arkansas fan or if you're an Arkansas backer in this game, I suppose. But Eric Musselman in his second season – has brought Arkansas back to the Elite Eight for the first time in two and a half decades. He's got this well ahead of pace there. I'll be interested to see actually what Musselman's future holds uh, in the years to come and, and what Arkansas can do. But uh, Baylor's the better team, had better guard play. Athletically, they matched up uh, pretty well. But no note was just, it's just one of those things that it made, it made the degree of difficulty, as you said, that much more difficult. And Arkansas couldn't, couldn't close it in the end. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.